Hello! Welcome to our show tonight. Our show is now called Filipinas in Ireland Shine at the Voice Kids UK 2021. And we're very, very happy and proud to have with us two young ladies who became part of the Voice Kids UK. It's grand finalist Ashling May Bantoyan. And we also have Fiona Cassandra Vargas who got to the semifinal. And let's start straight away with our grand finalist which we're very, very proud of, Miss Ashling May Bontoyan. Congratulations, Ashling. Thank you. And also, hello, Fiona. Fiona hello. Cassandra Vargas, welcome as well to the show. And you are in so, Kildare, right? Oh, yes, yes, well, I'm in Kildare. <laughs> Yeah, just to let everyone know, we are in Ireland, obviously, and I am actually right now in Cavan, and Fiona is in Kildare, and Ashling is in Wicklow. Okay, so okay. Ashling, let's let's start straight away. How do you feel now that you've you know become part of it and became the grand finalist? How did it feel? It felt very unreal very very surreal um i didn't think i would get that far um but i'm very grateful and i'm also very blessed to have gone that far even being on the blinds as well you know making it through there or being on the show as well i think it was such an honor to be there especially representing philippines yeah how old are you now ashley i'm 15 i'm 15 now you're 15 already. So when did you know that you are gifted with a beautiful voice? How did it all start? Well, I didn't really know that I was good at singing. Um, all I knew was that it just made me feel happy. And I always just love performing for people um, to make them dance, to make them smile. But I think I realized when I started joining these singing competitions, and I started winning a few and people started complimenting my voice as well and telling me to keep on going, to encourage me to keep on singing. And I think that's when I decided to make this my dream. So, so you started off, um, you weren't shy straight away when you were, when you were young, when you started singing, um, like um, it came naturally. <laughs> I was... I was very sassy when I was younger. <laughs> um, I, well, I think it was mainly because of the Filipino culture, but also as well because of my sister. Um, mm. My auntie, she used to sing when she was younger as well. And since I looked up to her so much, I used to always just copy her and copy her dance moves, her styles and her singing. And then uh -huh. I think that's just how it kind of started, especially as well. Here in the Filipino community in Ireland, they're all about singing and dancing and karaoke. And I think that's how I started to sing. Yeah, that's great. Do you play any musical instruments of, or have other skills apart from singing? Well, I do um, know how to play piano, ukulele, and guitar, but I'm not an expert on any of them. Um, I used to I used to look up, you know, on YouTube and the internet as well because it's so easy now to look up things. Um, sometimes as well for singing, I use the vocal warm ups on YouTube. But that's how I started to do those instruments. And obviously, I'm still learning, so I'm not an expert. Yeah. And um, when did you start joining competitions? Um, I think I started joining competitions in. When I was around eight, I think, um, my one of my first competitions was actually Mega Voice Kids, which was from Mega World, and that was an international Filipino competition. So. There was other competitions as well. Um, in Ireland, I joined Teen Stars. I joined the variety the variety show competition, and mm -hmm. also Mega World as well, as, as I said. Um, there's another one as well that I was on TV for. It was Junior Eurovision. Okay, that's great. And did you win any of them? I'm sure you did. Um, well, for the Mega Voice one, 
I was a finalist um, and for Teen Stars as well, I was one of the winners. So. Wow, that's really great. You're super talented and you have a fabulous voice. That's great. And um, so let's talk about The Voice Kids UK now. Um, how did it all start? Did you, who decided to let you join? Um, it was actually me. I used to watch it a lot when I was younger. Um, one of my friends was on The Voice Kids for the first year, which is Marby. And I kind of got inspired, you know, to get on the show because it always has been my dream since I've been watching it. And I tried last year, um, season four, the series four, and I unfortunately didn't get a turn, but this year it was my time now. So that's the reason why I joined again to show them that I was determined to do it. And I got through. So. Oh, that's great. And do you sing the same um, song for the auditions, like the three steps? before getting into the grand finals. Do you pick a song or can you tell us how it's done, how it works and how it went for you actually? Yeah. Um, so for the blind audition, I actually did get to choose. Um, obviously the voice kids, you know, the people uh, in backstage, you know, like the vocal coaches and everything, they did help me choose a song. They said, oh, maybe this song will help you, you know, like, Show, show your voice a lot to the judges. So that's how we ended up, that's how I ended up singing Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. Okay, that's great. And were you nervous? I think oh, every performer goodness. still gets nervous. <laughs> for, the first, for the first audition, I was very, very nervous. Um, I was nervous, I was nervous because I was scared I wasn't gonna get a turn again from last year. And I was also scared that, you know, that I might mess up on like a high note or anything. And I was just overthinking. But in the end, in the end, I did get a turn. And I'm very grateful for that. Well, that's really good. Um, you're very confident and brave when it comes to these things. And you're so used to it. That's great. Um, so what are the things did you like? What were the things you liked about the Voice Kids UK compared to the other competitions? Um, I think it, I can't really say there was a specific thing that I really loved about it. I think it was just the experience, um, you know, getting on the stage, getting dressed, doing rehearsals. I love doing that. And also getting an image of how it is in the real music industry. Um, that was my favorite part about it, to be a part of the actual show and, you know, have have the chance to see what it looks like in the actual industry. I think that was very fun and very, you know, very important, very educating. That's great. And did you find things hard to do? What were the challenges? What were the challenges you experienced? Um, um, definitely a challenge that I had to do was, well, not only for me, but also for my papa as well, who had to stay with me. Um, we had to stay in London for one month. And it was very hard because my papa had to take off um, one month off of work. And we were also away far from family too. So it was very hard. But in the end, it did, you know, it was worth it because I got to the final. So, um, I was just going to ask, it's open to... Uh all kids in any part of the world is it the voice kids uk or it's just obviously uk ireland no i think it's i think it's to everyone in the world i remember i think last year two years ago there was one girl who came all the way from switzerland and i think i, I think everyone can join so everyone could join oh good so yeah. um apart from singing and your other skills in instruments are you interested in learning about the philippines or sometimes you see when kids are born here like yourself um you don't get to be really connected to your roots anymore how has it been with you are you how do you are you very much involved in the filipino community and events 
I think I am very involved in them. Um, I'm very interested in learning about the Filipino culture. Obviously, I do have a lot to learn, like for example, the language, um, Bisaya and Tagalog, also other languages as well, but I would love to learn those. Um, I love speaking about the country, even though I'm not even born there. Um, when my friends go to my house after school, I make them eat like Filipino food that's there, like um, in an unan, because my mama loves oh, yeah. to um, make that. And also like, in, in unan as well. Um, but yeah, I love, I love Philippines and I'm very happy that I grew up in such a loving culture. Um, what is your advice to other young singers who want to become, you know, professional singers like yourself? Um, I think my advice would be to go for it. Um, it does take a lot of passion and determination, but if it's really what you want, I feel like you can do it. Um, even Not even in singing as well, I feel like in just everything. Like if you wanna get a degree in school, if you want to maybe do acting, I feel like you should just go for it and try new things because it can never hurt. Yeah, do you think it will, it will make you more confident or do you think it will be uh, a problem for school when you miss classes and stuff or you think it's worth it anyway? Yeah, um, during when we were filming The Boys Kids, I was missing a lot of school, so um, <laughs> but don't, don't miss school, don't miss school because school is very important. Um, and you had to you had to keep it from others. You didn't have you, you couldn't tell people about it as well, right? Yeah, I couldn't tell people at all. Um, I had to tell my principal. <laughs> and okay. I had to tell my principal and a few of my teachers because they were asking me, "Why are you not in class?" And I couldn't say anything, but I had to tell them that I was there. So <laughs> that's great. So, in general, how did you? Um, find the whole experience is there anything that you would have changed or improved on or you're happy as it is the way you performed I don't think I would change anything um, although I did have a few mistakes like for example for my blind audition I was very nervous so my voice was very shaky but besides that I don't think I would change anything it was such an amazing experience um, I met so many new people and talented friends as well. I met Fiona there, um, but I'm glad. I'm glad that it happened. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't change anything for yourself. Like, do you like any of the other, any of the other singers there, or is there any of the judges that you really admire? Um, I really. Well, obviously, I admire Danny because he was my coach. Um, Although he is very nice and very sweet and very funny, he's also very passionate about what he does, especially in music as well. Um, he was so sweet to me though, and he was really helping me with the song too, which is, I feel, something that is that is required as a coach, and I feel like he did have that. Okay. Is there anyone you want to thank, or is there anything you want to say? to you know while you're here right now and this is your chance this is your opportunity go ahead follow my <laughs> no, <I'm only> <laughs> um, um you know just for people people who do want to sing and people who do want to go on the voice or in the voice kids uk or even in philippines as well go go for it try it um it never hurts it never hurts to do it and even if even if you don't get it the first time, try again because I did the same thing too, and I was in the final. So that's great. Is there anyone you want to thank? Your parents um, or your? Um, I want to thank my mama, my papa, my auntie, my kuya. Um, I like to thank everyone in my family. Um, especially my especially my my papa as well because he was there with me for the whole thing um my mama right here <laughs> um because she encouraged me to keep on going same with my auntie 
and just for my whole family too because they were all supporting me um but every everyone as well especially in the philippines too everyone was cheering me on so that's great and sorry for putting you on the spot but since um you're here can you just sing one line for us <laughs> okay At last, my love has come along. My lonely days are over. And life is like a song. Oh, at last. Oh my God, goosebumps. <laughs> Congratulations again, Ashling. We're so proud of you. Thank, Thank you so, so much for joining us tonight. Thank you so much and for having keep me. Keep it up. Keep Thank it up you. and keep praying and be good and keep on going to school. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank okay. you so much. Now just stay there and feel free to, in, to, to share whatever you want to share as well when Fiona is going to tell us as well her experience while being at the Voice Kids UK. So Fiona, Fiona I've met before already. Okay. She sang a song that I <laughs> that I composed last year. I can imagine that was last year. Still COVID right. until oh now. <laughs> yeah. So Fiona Cassandra Vargas got through the semi-final. Fiona, tell me about how you felt throughout the whole experience you had there throughout the whole experience honestly it was a wonderful experience as well and actually the voice kids uk was my first competition and it is a really big competition and i was the very last contestant actually for the voice kids season five this year so i was already thinking in my head that oh what if there's like no what if there's no coaches left what if there's no places left But even though like I had all these thoughts in my head, I was like, I'm already here and this is already such a big achievement. And just to be on the stage and singing on the stage. So I sang with all my heart out and I was so surprised and I started to like get teary eyed when Melanie C turned to me. Did you pick your song like Ashling or how did it go for you? Um actually the voice kids They they gave me a list of songs to sing and so I had to send many videos of me singing it and they picked Always Remembers This Way for my thing. And they actually helped a lot on picking all of your songs. Like what Ashling said, what would suit your voice and what would bring out the best in you. Tell us about how this all started, uh, Fiona. You are 13? Uh, 14. 14. 14. Oh, 14. Oh, my God. I knew you last year, and now you're 14. Anyway, you're still in, still can go back again to um, the Voice Kids UK, I guess. Um, when did it all start, Fiona? When did you know that you are gifted with a beautiful voice? Um. So, actually, I didn't really, like, think about doing singing, like, seriously. But back then, when I was, like, younger, like, three or four, my family used to always say Filipino karaoke songs. And my Lola used to always play the song, Malayu Pa Ang Umaga. And I don't know, that's where my singing started to grow, my passion for it. Like, I just kept on listening to the song. And also, I had this Kuya who, like, used to always sing and, like, record new, record songs. And I always looked up to him. And that's when I, my passion started to grow. That's great. And um, what were the competitions? What, what? competitions did you join and did you win any of them um actually i've joined on um, one competition i have two com two other competitions uh it's like this kill their competition it was like a small competition and i was one of the finalists for it and another competition i joined was w copa the world championships i won three gold medals for the duos oh three silver medals oh wow that's great Oh my gosh, you are both so gifted and having all these awards at such a, a young age. Um, do you play mu musical instruments or have other skills apart from singing? Um, 
I also play, I play a bit of guitar and ukulele. I'm not really like the best at it, but I still try my best because that's what I do in my free time other than singing. Mm -hmm. And do you want to remain in the singing profession, Fiona, or do you have other interests? Um, actually, I love doing singing. Singing is honestly like what I love to do. But also my other interests are becoming like a doctor, you know, like <laughs> a nurse, things like that. And like, I don't know, it's always been my dream to be a doctor or a singer. And I've also okay. wanted to like try at the same time like both. Yeah, you can do both. A singing doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to ask you that, Ashling. Did you is there a is apart from singing, do you want do you have other interests? Do you want to be a singer by profession? Um well I do love to sing. That's how I describe my emotions through song. Um even even if the singing career as a pop star doesn't work out for me, I would still love to continue on singing. Um, one thing I've been thinking about as well is that maybe if it doesn't work out, I could probably be teaching singing lessons, you know, sharing my my knowledge or starting a school as well, you know, with dance, acting and singing because that's what I love to do. Okay, so it's it's in the arts and perform performance performing arts, anyways. That's great. So back to you, Fiona. Um, what are the things? What things did you like about joining the Voice Kids UK? Was it different from other competitions? Um, the Voice Kids is actually a really different competition from all the other competitions I've and that I've like been in, and it's it's a really different competition because at the same time. Like the staff, the coaches and the contestants were so lovely. And the staff will help you like they will help you with anything as well. And same as the vocal coaches. So it wasn't really like it was so nerve wracking at first, but they like provide you with everything. And it was honestly such a great thing. Well, that's good. And um were there any challenges? Were there things that you found hard during during the whole thing? Um, there were a lot of challenges during the whole thing, like due to COVID as well, and we could not travel due to restrictions. And so, like Ashling said, like her dad had to stay with her and like stop working for a month. My mom was there because she's like, my number one supporter as well. My mom had to stop working for a month just to like accompany me during the whole Voice Kids journey. I think you also had to sort the visa, isn't it? Uh, yes, yes, from yes. from Ireland to the UK, I remember Sheila. I think contacting yeah. me, and I had to keep it secret as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, but I remember she had to ask something about that. So, um, what are you? How about I know Ashling is also very much involved with the Filipino community, and I know you are as well in Kildare. Uh, what is it about Filipi the Filipinos that you like the most? What I love about Filipinos is everything, honestly. It's the way that, like, how they connect and how they respect each other and all of the traditional Filipinos, like, all the traditional Filipino stuff. And I just love the way that they're so, like, in touch with music. They express all of their, like, feelings through the music. And they're very, like, religious as well. And mm -hmm. the food, I just love everything about our culture. That's great. And um, what is your advice to other young singers who want to become a professional singer like you? Um, any advice? Um, what I have to say is just follow your dreams and follow your heart. Like if you believe in yourself, like you can always do it and stuff like that. And always take the risk. It like never hurts. And, you know, like it takes a lot of determination and hard work. But at the end of the day, it'll always be worth it. You're right. And um, what are your plans? Um, so my plans after the Voice Kids UK, actually, I'm coming. Oh, I, I'm going to be. I'm going to be in this upcoming concert during May. But no details have been out about it and stuff like that. So just stay tuned. And I'm trying to like what's that? Like just write my own songs. You know, try starting to compose. And I released my new cover single called Who's the Vic? The Fire Saga. It's out on all platforms. 
That's great. Um, what are your plans now? I'm not sure if I asked you this. What are your plans now after the Voice Kids UK? Um, well, one of my plans is the same as Fiona as well. I hope to release my own music soon. Um, Disneyland Paris as well. I hope to do a vlog, you know, to um, catch up with all the <clears throat> catch up with all the finalists. And um, one other thing as well is to do a fundraiser. Um, as you know about the typhoon or death, um, um, it hit it hit Philippines just before Christmas, which is a really you know sad time. I um, I know a lot of people lost their houses and couldn't celebrate together with their other families. So I'm hoping to do a fundraiser for that, which might be coming soon. It's very it's very soon actually. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping to do that, and hopefully I'll raise enough money. So yeah. So there you go. Thanks so much, ladies. And of course, we're not going to go without speaking to your moms who have always been supporting you throughout the years. And they'll be with you as well in your future career. So may I call on the parents uh, of Fiona and Ashling? We have Sheila, who's the mother of Fiona, and Zenaida the mother of Ashling. Thank you so much for, for coming tonight as well. So I'll start off first with Zenaida. Zenaida, how has it, what was it for you? How did you feel about all this, um, Zenaida? Uh, kung gusto mo magtagalog tayo, magtagalog din tayo. Or Bisaya, okay din, pero siguro Tagalog. <laughs> how do I feel? about the competition mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was really proud to Ashling because mm -hmm. hindi lahat naka ano sa malaki na competition um, very mm -hmm. proud and I'm very blessed and grateful and that's all right thank you oh, Lord the day that I have a blessing, a blessing child. Mm -hmm. Yes, a very talented child. When did you, kailan ka pumunta dito sa Ireland, um, Zenaida? Um, first, yung pung, dumating dito yung asawa ko sa total, last 2001, tapos kinuha niya ako, nagpakuha talaga ako. <laughs> tapos, uh, 2003, so, iniwan namin yung dalawang anak namin doon sa Pilipinas. Kaming dalawa dito. Pagka 2004, kinuha namin yung anak namin na dalawa. Mm. Mm. Tapos, ano ang trabaho ng husband mo? We, at first, ang trabaho ko is uh, child minder. Yung husband ko is a healthcare assistant in the nursing home. Ah, taga saan kayo sa atin? Sa Iligan City. Wow, Iligan City. Yeah, Iligan City. Wow. <laughs> Iligan. Uh, mga bisayang, mga bisayang dako. So, mga um, bisayang. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, Zenaida, eh, magaling ka din ba kumanta? Saan ba nakuha ni Ashling ang talent na to? Actually, hindi ako. Magkanta lang ako doon lang sa room. Tapos kami lang dalawa yung asawa ko. Siya lang ang makinig sa akin. Ayaw kong magkanta with all the people around me. So, kanta lang kami. Just folk. So, pero yung asawa ko, kanta yan siya with a group. Tapos, yung mga not as good as her. Like, but as she get it from her sister. Kasi palagi yan siya. Her sister always singing, like as Ashling said, that we have a group of Filipino here. Palagi siyang inaas na kanta si yung kapatid niya. Tapos mag-practice si AJ, yung kapatid niya. Tapos mag-practice. Tapos iniwan yung, ano, iniwan yung laptop or iniwan yung microphone. Sabi niya, Mama, can I have? 
ko. So, kanta siya ng kanta. Yan nakukuha niya. Tapos, palagi narinig niya yung ate niya. But, we already noticed Ashling has a uh, talent of singing and dancing. Because, when she was, uh, like, when she's able to walk at, and talking na, when we're watching the telly, she will be standing in front of the telly just to get our in attention. So, kanta yan siya, kanta, sayaw ng sayaw. So, so we, parang, she, it's her passion and feel, feeling niya, she, she really loved to do it. Hmm. Like, Kailan niyo pina-join si Ashling sa mga competition? Sino nag-start na? Uy, ipasali natin to si Ashling, magaling kumanta. Ang nag-start is my friend introduced me to Ashling, one of the mega word. May kaibigan ako, palaging nakikita si Ashling magkanta ka just to sing in the event, yung ganun. Tapos uh, yung Filipino group. Tapos ang friend ko tumawag sa akin, Uy, si Naida, may ano ako, may kaibigan ako na nag ano ng competition. Uh, Sinabi ko ang pangalan ni Asling sa sali si Asling sabi ko ha saan yun siya sinayda mika mo ay yun jangin nang ganun siya pero kailangan mo tumawag kasi kailangan ang parents sa uh, tatawag sa kanya so yan nagsimula tapos yun nagsimula siya nag ano ng competition tapos nakakuha si Asling na nalo ng dalawang ticket going home to the Philippines Tapos, oh. yeah, it's a very good experience. Very nice. Thank you for asking for two tickets. <laughs> Nakasay <laughs> kami na daw. <laughs> Tapos, oh. um, next competition na naman, kasi uh, we are, in that in that time, I'm struggling kasi my older, her older sister is going to college and she's going to high school. So we need a lot to lot money. And we don't have anyone. <laughs> so, to make sure to start, so, nag, ano, ko na, uh, na scroll ko na, there's a competition somewhere in Dublin. So, it's called the, um, what, wait, no, I forget. <laughs> so, and um, then she said, Mom, I can, I can join that competition so that I can pay my books because she can hear me saying that I'm struggling with money and she, like and she was she i'll pay the books and and i can i can go and can do the competition so kaya nakasali kami ng competition doon sa dublin tapos nanalo siya so yan ang yan ang perang nakuha niya ng 1000 yan ang ginagamit niya bili ng uniform bili ng books niya yeah and mm. It's a very yeah. experience. And, yeah, I, super proud ka yeah, talaga, ha? Oh, super proud ako. Kung may <laughs> word pa na, ano, yun ah. <laughs> yeah. Kung, kung si so, Fiona, kung, kung kasi si Fiona, si Ashling is, uh, pag, kung hindi siya professional singer, um, ano ang gusto mong maging si, maging doctor ba siya or teacher? Or are you happy as it is na singer siya? Oh my God, that's a very strong word. Professional. Professional. <laughs> Question. No. Ah, or what okay. do you, ano, ano, anong gusto niyo? Or gusto niyo maging carer din ba? Or gusto niyo ding maging, you know, um, child minder? Sa akin, kung anong gusto niyang gawin, yan din ang inag- ginagawa ko sa lahat ng anak ko. Kung anong gusto niya gawin, saan siya masaya, saan siya comfortably, ako ay suporta lang sa kanila. Cause, and then, yeah, suporta lang ako sa kanila kasi kung masaya sila sa ginagawa nila, masaya din ako. Kasi, mm-hmm. yan naman ang ano ng magulang. Yan ang gusto niya. Yeah. Ano ang advice mo yeah. kay Ashling ngayon na meron na siyang international mark sa singing sa singing industry. Anong advice mo kay Ashling? International. Huwag ka muna mag-boy. Um, ang advice ko sa kanya is um, 
Mm. Wag mo na mag-boyfriend and aside from that, <laughs> aside from that, um, just continue your dream and um, you have to pray so that, uh, pray all the time so that you can reach your dream in a good way and you, if you reach in a good way, if you pray, if God give you, you will be happy and then you will not regret of everything. And mm -hmm. just be polite, kind, um, humble. Yeah. Be humble. Yeah. And okay. always pray. Respect. And what yeah. is your advice to other parents? Um, Zenaida, to other parents who have children competing at The Voice Kids UK or any singing competition, anong advice mo sa parents? Sa mga parents dyan, um, um, just uh, support your children. Support your children to their dreams and I um, I don't know. I always tell us you because I always tell it to Ashling that if she will be in the competition, what's the, uh, even small or big stage, you have to. Because uh, it's not easy for them to stand up in the stage, even small or big stage. So, mag nervous sila sila ba tapos sabi sasabihan ko sila si Ashling all the time this is what i said to Ashling all the time and she will be in competition that just be yourself and enjoy the moment and before you stand up in the stage you pray all ng all ang nervous mong lahat mawawala mm -hmm. god will very good you that. Oh, salamat, um, Zenaida. Yeah. Very nice advice. And um, at yeah. least you're always supportive all the time. And she has a long way to go. Mahaba pa ang career niyan. So lots of prayers will be will be needed. So, salamat, Zenaida. Move on naman tayo. Thank kay, you so much kay... for helping me. It's yes. Oh, meron ka bang gustong ispas? Do you want to thank anyone, Zenaida? sa mga tumulong sa anak mo sa yo or obviously the Voice Kids UK. Yeah, I would like to thank you, Voice UK, for um, helping us link. Bisa magtagalog na. Tagalog. Tapos lahat ng mga tao na nagustuhan yung bosses ni Ashling sa lahat ng mga taong nagsuporta ni Ashling o sa lahat ng mga taong nagsuporta is Voice Yuki. Salamat sa inyong lahat sa mga tao sa Pilipinas. Salamat sa inyo at sa anak ko si Ashling pagbigay ng uh, you know pagpangalan. Mm -hmm. that we are very proud of and then salamat kay Lord sa pagbigay ng ano, salamat sa inyo salamat mm -hmm. sa lahat ng tao okay. salamat kay Lord uh, yeah thank very you good, very much thank you so much thank you so much Zanaida, now move on naman tayo kay Sheila kamusta naman oh. si Sheila parang na-stress din to si Sheila I think nung <laughs> nag-travel kayo no so kamusta oh, so Sheila Oh. Hello, uh, kumusta? Um, uh, there's uh, actually the voice kids are very nice. Um, it's a uh, most of the unforgettable journey. Then sa uh, um, ang pinat na na stress talaga ako sa travel. Then sa that was um on the height of the restriction, na sobrang lockdown. And then during that time, also I like, don't have no passport. There was even um there was uh, an incident where we were already boarding the plane. But then, hindi kami pinakasakay. <laughs> Kasi wala siyang passport. So, uh, at yung magkasabay natin kami noon ni Ashley noon, that time. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, for, I think for the rehearsal. So, aside from that, that was very stressful. But, but, but um, we were able to fly to Erlingos the next day. So, gumawa na paraan yung The Voice Kids talaga. And then, aside from that, and Fiona was there. I thought um, I was always praying that uh, Sana hindi siya maging last na 
sabay audition kasi for sure no more coach left but then at the end natakabakan ko na ng mga bata isa pa lang last <laughs> so just imagine how long we've been waiting there and then I think around 10pm that's the time she was able to sing the Bayan audition so oh I was already you know, so I was already very emotional because I I know for sure there's no more uh, coach left but there were lots of kids they were singing before her yeah and I think I how many how many were there? How many? I think, uh, I think for Fiona, um, um, there were seven kids, and then only one coach left. Only Melanie. Uh, Men have one or uh, one spot left for for an act, you know. Kaya nung ano na nung hindi ko wala naman kasi kami alam na sa mga kasi iba ang grabe ang ano nila doon eh ang bantay. We have we have to have our own bubble. No, I know. So if you're na ng kumanta. Iyan, umiyak na lang talaga ako kasi sabi ko, wait lang, balik na lang doon kayo na lang, mag-ano, quarantine na naman. So, uh-huh. but then I just realized, oh, may turn. So, uh, para parang may iyak na rin patuwa dahil parang uh, hindi na sayang ba yung ano, yung stress ko uh-huh. during the time, uh-huh. during the journey. Yeah. But it was, uh, I know, I know, sabi ko kasi yun na, yun, uh, I know, parang wala na yung coach sa'yo, so, just sing, uh, at least, uh-huh. You're, you're you're able to experience how to see a big stage. Exactly. Kung wanta parin siya lang ito nito do kaya nung nakita ko na may nalulutol si Mel Melanie C so kaya very I was very happy. Yeah. Oh, that's very good. Ta- yeah. Um, Sheila, wa well, kailan ka pumunta dito sa Ireland? Um, 2001. Uh, through a work permit. Yeah. So I. Kasi ba yung basi ano? Si Zenaida. Nagmukakilala na kayo ni Zenaida non. No, uh, hindi. Ah. Tulad talaga ako sa Newbridge, yeah. Ay, oo, oh, tama. Kildare ka din, no? Oh, Akala ko, ano, nagkalo na yung aking Tagalog and Bisaya. Ano, <laughs> so, yeah. sa Kildare, diretso, from the oh, Philippines. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Tapos, uh, ano ko yung mga kapatid ko, kaya yung mga, pa sa amin, it's just around, around Kildare din, from Newbridge. Mga mm-hmm. name, kapitbahay lang. Mm. Kumakanta ka din ba, Sheila? Sa'yo ba nakuha yung talento? Ah, yan. Yeah. Karaoke. Talaga, ano kami so? Pag, pag ano, may, may event, talagang magkakaraoke kami, normal na yan. So, para pang bahay lang. <laughs> pang bahay lang nakanta. Talaga. Oh. Oh. Maganda boses ng mami mo, Fiona. Yes po. Ito <laughs> maganda. Talaga. Dapat siya ang mag-sample mamaya. No, Zenaida, maganda boses ni, ano? Ni Sheila? <laughs> Ah, uh, nagkilala no, 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 no. lang kami sa ano, nagkilala lang kami first meet uh, in the airport. Oh, Adun na, doon do, do lang kayo nagkakilala. Okay. Oh. Oh. Dami talagang bisaya sa ano no, Ireland. Mm. Mm. So, um, kailan mo nalaman Sheila na si Fiona merong talent sa, sa pagkanta? I think when she was three years old because Lalagang lagi siyang mag- magdasasakyan, kanta ng kanta. Tapos yung, I remember before yung Agua Bendita, yung malayo pang umaga, sa PFC yun, lagi kinakanta niya yun. O kaya parang, parang na, ano nila ko na, may ano to siya, may talent to sa kanta. Tapos, may ano kami dito, may KFC, kaya Filipino community. Lagi namin mm-hmm. siyang, lagi ko siyang ano na, ikaw magkanta sa, yung parang prayer song ba, opening, <laughs> para sa opening sa program. Parang yun na rin mm-hmm. ang naging exposure niya na hindi na siya mahiya sa magumanta. Mm. Mm-hmm. Tapos, um, kailan mo siya, kailan ka nag-decide na ipa- ipasali siya sa mga competition? Anong age niya nun? Actually, yung ano, yung, talaga, wala talagang formal competition. Kasi yung, nakasali siya noon sa yung Kilde, Kilde ka talent ba yun? <laughs> Kilde ka talent. Yeah. Kilde ka smart. It's just a very small competition. Naging mm-hmm. final siya doon. And then, I think, um, um, Mel Teren, uh, said, uh, so, you know, you know yung W Copa, World Championship mm-hmm. of Performing Arts, uh, Mel was sending, like, videos for, for a competition, and then, uh, she was, uh, she won, like, three awards, three medals, silver medals, so it's like, a, uh, it's one of the big competition na, ano lang yun, online lang yun, but, this, the voice case, ito talaga yung, ano, one of the biggest, uh, Mm-mm-mm. So it's like a biggest break for her. Yeah. 
Kung kung hindi siya naging singer or magaling sa pagkanta, meron ka bang do you want her to pursue that that um profession or meron ka bang gustong gusto mo lang sideline lang yang singing Fiona ha or was is it also parang pareho si kay Zenaida na it's up to her to decide or ano sa tingin mo? Um for me gusto ko talaga siya makapagtapos na ng ang um, pag-aaral. So uh Before singing, I think she wants really to be a doctor. So I want it to be whatever she wants to be. I will support that. But I think um, singing is one of her passion, really. And there's a big mm-hmm. chance for her. So parang okay to sideline, sideline too. But if, if there's an opportunity for her, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. she will, I, I would um, support her all the way in the way. Anong advice mo sa kanya? Uh, anong advice mo, Sheila, kay Fiona? Na ngayon na international sensation na rin siya. Uh, what is your advice wow. to her? Wow, I can't believe that. Parang, yeah, I, I should say, parang international since, yeah, kasi the music is group, but as well. Um, ang, uh, what I could tell you, Fiona, is just enjoy the moment, yeah. At saka, I'm always here anyway, whatever. Mm-hmm. Because it's, this is just the beginning of your journey. Yeah, mm-hmm. at saka, laging, I, I know, kung ano ito nangyayari sa kanya, parang, This is God's plan. Mm. Yeah, so I, I just leave, leave up to leave up to God. At saka, sana, maging success, pray for her success talaga. Mm. That's Thank very good. Cool. Yeah. Uh, anong advice mo naman sa ibang parents na katulad mo, na merong anak na gustong maging, you know, wants to hone their singing skills? Anong advice mo sa kanila? Oh, uh, yeah, for the parents there, yeah, um, Just support your kid. Um, we know, alam natin na pag may hilig sa kanta, that's a, that's a very good, uh, very big talent. I mean, it's God's big gift. So, it's, uh, i-share natin sa iba, at saka, um, let's always be supportive to them. Dahil, um, although, let, let, let's say, talent din yun, but we have, but the parents is a big factor for, for their success as well. Kaya, mm-hmm. yun lang, ang, um, ay kung ay, ano mo lang siya na mag-practice at saka to be more passionate with her craft. Mm. And uh, Fiona, meron ka bang advice? Let's bring it back to your moms, um, Ashling and Fiona. Fiona, anong advice mo sa mom mo ngayon na, you know, I'm sure it's this is just like, I, I know that she's been with you in many competitions. Ano naman yung advice mo sa kanya? Alam ko, iyakin yan si, ano, si Sheila eh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So basically, no, no, your hand. So I'm thankful that, like, you know, I'm always thankful that my mom's always here for me and stuff like that. Like, you know, for mother and daughter relationships as well, there's always ups and downs to your relationship. But always at the end of the day, your mom will always be there for you. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to cry. But like, I'm just yeah. so, like, I'm just always so thankful that my mom is always there. You know, and like stuff like yeah. that. And leave everything up mm-hmm. to God. Amen. Yeah, true. Kasi minsan, I just feel na sa kabisi, sobrang busy, wala kayong time to sort of just sort of thank each other. Yeah, so I think this yeah. is a good chance. How about um, you, Ashling? Anong advice mo kay Zanaida? Or what's your message to her while she's here? <laughs> thank you. Mm-hmm. Because You have been there for me for my whole life. Sam Fiona as well. I'm very grateful for you. And I love you very much. And I'm sorry that I fight with you so <laughs> But in the end of the day, like Fiona said, I still love you. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> I remember when I was a teenager. Oh my yeah. gosh. I was like That's the boss. Awesome. Mm. like yeah. mommy and daughter no quarrels yeah. it's it's yeah. tough because they're going through a lot plus covid pa. but yeah. well thank you so much everyone and congratulations again to ashling who was the grand finalist at the voice kids uk and mm-hmm. to fiona who made it to the semi-final as well they just were recognized um on uh, December. Thank you so much. Very recently. Yes, congratulations. Yeah. And also, always be proud of yourselves and also proud and at the same time, 
stay humble. Proud because we are Filipinos and we're in Ireland and it's nice, although Ireland is smaller, you know, a small country, there's so many talented Filipinos here and always as well in many competitions, lagging my Filipino. Na. Even I think I heard Will I, Will I Am when you were yeah. singing, he turned around and he said, are you Filipino? Yeah. I saw that video. Because yeah. yeah. he, he yeah. knows a lot of Filipinos. Of so it's, yeah. Oh, Filipino. So it's nice to, to, to recognize you both here tonight. And you're very oh. young. You have a bright future ahead of you. And as your parents said, keep humble, keep praying, and, you know, don't always expect to win. Just do as much as you can and try as hard as you can. And don't forget who you are and where you're from. That's my advice anyway. Wala akong advice for singing. I could <laughs> sing, but not really, <laughs> you know, and keep it there. You know, it's my me. Thank you so much, Tita Banda. You're very welcome. And thank you for this last minute request. I was just called literally the other day if I could do an interview with both of you. And I'm like, ha, Filipina ang nanalo because I wasn't actually following it. So, I mean, merong Filipina again uh, this time, you know, for the grand finals. Mm -hmm. So, congratulations again and thank you so much. And um, have a good evening. And Fiona, I hope you feel better. And Zenaida, Sheila, thank you for as you're so used to last minute requests and meron tayong beauty kahit na late na ngayon tonight. Ashling, congratulations again and Fiona. And good luck so in your future, your future thank you careers. So much. Thank you so Ingat much. Lagi. And stay thank safe. And of course, Salamat. we want to thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah. Oh, you're very welcome. Um, Jonathan, we need to thank Jonathan. Ang aming, um, yes, ang, thank, you, ang, Jonathan. Ang, thank you, thank you, Jonathan. The only, the only thorn among the roses. See, Jonathan mm -hmm. was um, busy today, but he made time to let us do this in order to. I'll be writing up an article now and sending it to ABS CBN. So, um, Jonathan, ayam mo mapakita jan. But anyway. Thank you so much, and as always, salamat sa mga last minute requests natin. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. And again, Filipinas in Ireland shown at the Voice Kids UK in December. So congratulations once again. Bye, guys. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye.